Hi guys, today I will discuss to you about how to calculate brand circuit for receptacles or convenience outlet. This is again Einbart Electric. Please subscribe and click the notification bell and select all so that you will be notified whenever I upload a new video lecture. So what are receptacles or convenience outlets? As you can see in the first picture, this is called a receptacle or convenience outlet and there are three holes. Line 1, line 2 and ground or it's either line, neutral and ground. So the same thing in the second picture but this type is different this is called a floor type receptacle and the third one as you can see this is ungrounded receptacle on the left side and grounded receptacle on the right side <coughs> receptacle is actually a female type and it is shown also a male type this is called a plug so there is a ungrounded plug and another is the grounded plug so in general a receptacle outlet is called an electrical contact device because it is providing a contact between the receptacle and the plug So let us uh, see the definition of the receptacle. The term power receptacle basically refers to the electrical outlet. Sometimes it's called convenience outlet, which in a way provide convenience of providing power to an appliance. They are devices that allow electrically operated equipment to be connected to alternating current power supply in a building. So just think of all the outlets around your home that provide the power connection to your TV, lamp, electric fan, refrigerator, etc. And uh, let us see the location in a building. So we have a floor plan here. So as we can see, receptacle outlets can be installed in walls, on the floors, in the ceiling, and in the countertop. A countertop is a part of the uh, kitchen which is above the lavatory. So there are common questions being raised with regards to receptacles. So number one is what are the ratings of receptacles? How many receptacles are allowed in one circuit? And how to protect the receptacle circuit? Now let us see some code rules on branch circuits. In section 220.14, other loads under all occupancies for receptacle outlets, it mentions receptacle outlets shall be calculated at not less than 180 volt amperes for each single or for each multiple receptacle on one yoke. So this means that even if the receptacle yoke is single, duplex or triplex as long as it is in one yoke, in one uh, enclosure it will be calculated as 180 volt amperes so that is specified by the national electrical code also under uh, section 220.18 maximum loads the total load shall not exceed the rating of the branch circuit and it shall not exceed the maximum loads Okay, so that means the total load should not exceed the rating 
or the protection of the brand circuit. Another one, 220.52, small appliance and laundry loads in the dwelling unit. The load shall be calculated at 1,500 volt amperes for each two-wire small appliance brand circuit. This is specified if the receptacles is not specified in the plan. So you have to assume 1,500 volt ampere under this section. Also, under the code rule, brand circuits with more than one receptacle. Conductors of brand circuits supplying more than one receptacle for cord and plug connected portable loads shall have an opacity not less than the rating of the brand circuit. So the conductor opacity should not be le less than the overcurrent protection device. Also, for single receptacle on individual brand circuit, if there is only one receptacle in the circuit, a single receptacle installed on an individual brand circuit shall have an ampere rating not less than that of the brand circuit. So we have to make sure that the rating of the receptacle is not less than the rating of the circuit breaker or the protection device. This is the very basic. Also, it is mentioned in uh, section 406.3, receptacle rating and type. We have rating. Receptacles and cord connectors shall be rated 15 amperes, 1 to 5 volts, or 15 amperes, 250 volts. But let us see in the industry if there is a, li a little uh, more than 15 amperes. So how do we calculate maximum number of receptacles? So this is if the number of outlets are specified in the plan. So this is the panel board with the 15 ampere circuit and another one is the 20 ampere circuit. But this is for 120 brand circuit. Also, in the industry, we have 20 ampere, 1 to 5, 250 volts. This is available in the market. And another one is 15 ampere to 50 volt. This is also available in the market. So, if we calculate for 230 brand circuit, for example, 20 ampere brand circuit, I use 16 ampere here because I want to use the 80% only of the total capacity of the circuit. So, 16 ampere times 230, that is 3680 VA. So the number of receptacles is 3680 VA divided by 180 VA of one uh, receptacle in one yoke. So we get only 20 numbers of receptacles or convenience outlet. So that means in a 20 ampere receptacle circuit, uh, you can put only maximum of 20 numbers receptacles. Similarly, in a 15 Ampere receptacle, we use 80%, 12 ampere times 230, that is 2760 VA. So the maximum number of receptacles will be 15 numbers only. Okay? So take note that uh, uh, in the industry we have 20 ampere, 250 volts. We have to make sure that we use only. 20 numbers maximum. Now let us go to the receptacles for small appliance circuit load if the outlets is not specified in the plan. So it is mentioned again to review the load shall be calculated 1500 volt amperes for each two wire small appliance brand circuit. So if we calculate the number of receptacles for a 230 volt brand circuit, it will be 
1500 divided by 180 that will be only eight numbers receptacles or convenience object so if it is not specified in the plan assume 1500 ba and install only maximum of eight numbers because the owner of the house for example don't have idea where to put and how many receptacles so as engineer you have to assume and assume it as 1500 so put only eight numbers because he did not specify he did not need more than eight possibly also a very important code rule under article 240 over current protection just mentioning over current devices rated 800 ampere or less so it is allowed to use the next higher standard over current device however there are uh, criteria or rules this is allowed only if number one very important if the conductors being protected are not part of branch circuit supplying more than one receptacle for cord and plug connected portable loads so that means we are not allowed this provision cannot be applied for receptacles why because for receptacles we do not know what is the capacity of an equipment or an appliance we are plugging into the circuit so we should take care that the overcurrent device should not be increased should not be the next higher otherwise uh, there will be problem in our protection so to illustrate again this is the panel board with the receptacles imagine this receptacle have 20 ampere to 50 volts rating or 15 ampere to 50 volt rating if we plug an appliance here in the first receptacle the current will flow only from this conductor up to the first receptacle only and will go back to the source which is the panel board also if we plug an equipment here in the second outlet the current will flow through the first receptacle and through the second receptacle only and the current will flow back to the panel board similarly in the third receptacle same thing current will flow through receptacle 1 receptacle 2 and receptacle 3 only and the current will flow back to the panel and lastly if you plug an appliance or load here in the fourth uh, receptacle the current will flow through receptacle 1 receptacle 2 receptacle 3 and to the receptacle 4 and this current will flow back to the source which is the panel board so the rating and size of the conductor must be based on the rating of the receptacles don't forget this the receptacle is the basis there are uh, designs be careful they are putting a 20 ampere circuit and a 20 ampere tray, uh, conductor but the receptacle rating is only 15 amperes so that is a violation of the code make sure that the conductor the overcurrent device and the rating of the receptacle matches all together and uh, let us see in the industry standard branch circuit rating for lighting branch circuit we use 15 ampere 230 volt branch circuit rating and for the receptacle branch circuit we have to use 20 ampere 230 volts branch circuit rating minimum that is minimum for the convenience outlet 
So we have here 20 ampere circuit rating and we have to use 2 by 3.5 or number 12 TW to HWHN 20 ampere ampacity stranded proper conductor. Also we have to keep in mind or the things we have to note that in the receptacle branch circuit number one the basis and limiting factor is the receptacle rating. Number two, size of conductor effective ampacity can be equal or greater than the receptacle rating. Effective ampacity is used since conductor size can be increased due to voltage drop. Remember this? Review my lecture in the voltage drop. And number four, the overcurrent protection CB device can be equal or less than the receptacle rating. So in summary, conductor ampacity must be greater than or equal to the receptacle rating. And the circuit rating or the CB or overcurrent protection device must be less than or equal to the conductor ampacity and receptacle rating. So let us see sample calculation number one. Number of receptacles not specified in the plan for dwelling. First, determine what is the rating of the receptacle that will be used. Since industry standard use 20 ampere circuit rating for receptacle loads, we have to use 20 ampere 250 volts rated receptacle. So we have now set the receptacle rating 20 ampere. Without calculation, we can immediately use a 20 ampere circuit breaker as protection device. Also, based from the circuit rating of 20 ampere, we can immediately select conductor size of 3.5 square mm, that is number 12. American wire gauge, TW, THW, or THHN with 20 ampere ampacity. Here, since 1500 V is used, we have to provide only 8 numbers of 20 ampere 250 volt receptacles as computed previously. So here, for uh, receptacles not specified in the plan, we have to use 8 numbers. 20 ampere receptacles and uh, sample calculation 2 number of receptacles are specified in the plan so specified means the owner specifies the number of receptacles and it is indicated in the plan so first determine what is the rating of receptacle still we uh, decide uh, industry standard 20 ampere, 250 volts. So without calculation, we can immediately use 20 ampere circuit breaker as protection device. Also, based on the circuit rating, 20 ampere, we can immediately select conductor size of 3.5 equivalent to 12 American wire gauge, TW, TSW, or TSN with 20 ampere ampacity. Here we assume 15 numbers of receptacles are specified in the plan. 15 numbers. So total VA, 16 ampere times 230 volt equals 3680. 16 amperes is 80% of 20 amperes. So I used here 80% only just to limit the number. So number of receptacles is 3680 divided by 180. That is 20 numbers maximum. So here, we have to provide only 8 numbers up to 20 numbers of 20 ampere 250 volt receptacles. So I hope that you understand and you learned something from this uh, video lecture. Thank you for watching and God bless.